So hi everyone, welcome back. It's me again, Joprasi. Welcome back to my channel, and thank you for clicking to my videos. Hi, hi. Thank you, Sabadika. Horas. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Then follow me on my social media. Yes, I need to plug that at the beginning of this video because mm -hmm, some of y'all is fake so um, today I want to talk about suicidal thoughts because I don't really talk about this with my friends and I don't really ever share about this well I tweeted some on my Twitter but I just want to talk about it more because I have a lot of times and I don't work today so Ya, yeah, let's talk about it. Jadi kalau boleh cerita, aku tuh anak-anak pertama, anak laki-laki pertama. Bapak hope pangguaran pula lagi ya kan. Jadi dari aku kecil itu, dari keluarga itu udah ada pressure you have to be the example for your brother and sisters. Enggak cuma ada adik ada adik kandung aku aja tapi jadi contoh buat saudara-saudara aku lagi anak dari bau aku, anak dari uda aku, anak dari mak tua aku I just always have that pressure on my shoulders I think that lead into my suicidal thoughts karena I always think that I'm not good enough belum lagi aku mas, uh, saat itu masih ada kayak pergumulan dengan diri sendiri tentang jati diri dan seksualitas aku sendiri and I don't have someone to talk to about this mess that is going on in my head jadi kayak ya udah kayak ketumpuk 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 dan sampai aku ingat banget satu uh, satu kejadian di mana ini waktu aku kecil mungkin kayak sekitar tahun enggak uh, uh, waktu aku umur 10 atau 11 waktu masih SD <laughs> Bodoh banget sih emang Jadi entah kenapa aku dimarahin sama mama aku Pokoknya bener-bener dimarahin Aku ngambek masuk ke kamar Aku kunci kamar Aku nangis sekeras-kerasnya And dibiarin aja gitu sama mama aku Aku nangis Kayak teriak Salah aja aku Salah aja terus marahin aja aku terus Kenapa kau terus marahin aku Gak sayang kalian sama aku ya Why are you my mom Why, why are you so mean dan mama aku tuh buru sinaga kalau kalian orang batak kalian pasti tau lah kalau buru sinaga itu udah 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 marah udah merepet cemana ya kan mungkin di situ adalah titik pertama di mana aku meledak jadi kayak aku nangis aku bener-bener ingat banget aku jedokin kepala aku ke dinding kayak sambil nangis sambil ngomong mau mati aja aku mau mati aja aku nggak ada yang nggak ada yang sayang sama aku mama aku nggak sayang sama aku Tanak siapa aku ini, gak ada kalian yang sayang sama aku And it's really sad Karena kalau dipikir-pikir It's so childish, I know Now I know that, I realize that now But at the time, I'm just so I was just clueless And it's so childish, I think Dan sejak saat itu Setiap aku berantem sama mama aku Atau dimarahin sama mama aku Selalu aja aku jedokin kepala aku ke dinding, aku nangis di kamar sampai ketiduran. Aku selalu ngebilang mama aku nggak sayang sama aku, aku mau mati, aku mau mati. Ya udah gitu aja terus kalau dimarahin. Dan aku ingat ada juga aku pernah pas dimarahin. Ini masih SD ya. Uh, aku kayak <laughs> ini bodoh kali sebenarnya. Aku masukin baju-baju aku ke dalam tas. Mama aku lagi tidur setelah marahin aku, mama aku tidur siang Aku masukin baju-baju aku ke dalam tas, aku pergi kabur Dan itu aku kaburnya bukan kabur yang gimana-gimana sampai seharian Aku kayak keliling kota gitu jalan kaki Jadi rumah aku tuh di jalan dairy, aku jalan kaki ke Gergiadom sana Mutar ke jalan karya, balik lagi ke rumah dan itu kayak cuma berapa jam gitu aku di luar rumah Pokoknya sore aku balik Aku denger mama aku kayak marah-marah Nanyain aku di mana Terus ya udah aku masuk lagi ke rumah Terus ya udah dimarahin lagi Gak dimarahin sih cuma kayak ditanyain kemana Terus ya udah masuk ke kamar suruh makan suruh mandi 
Udah. Dan waktu aku SD itu juga, itu adalah di masa dimana aku dibully. Karena aku agak ngelambai, nggak ngelambai-ngelambai banget sih kalau aku pikir-pikir juga. Cuma aku agak agak lebih lemah daripada teman-teman cowok aku yang lain. Aku sering ditis, diejekin. <laughs> I was just be, being bullied and I take that anger from my uh, because of my friend to my sisters and I and I really regret that now and I'm really sorry and I know I cannot I cannot erase that memory from from them so yeah with this video sisters ada ada aku Sari Tia Kalau kalian nonton Jeb, aku minta maaf kalau aku pernah jahat sama kalian waktu kalian, waktu kalian kecil. And I'm really, I'm really just sorry, cause I I take my anger and sadness to you. <laughs> ya, yeah. berlanjut ke SMP. Itu aku ada uh, ada masalah keluarga di kelas 3 SM, SMP. which I will talk about in the next video because it's really personal and it's really complicated disitu aku yang benar-benar baru ngeliat dengan mata kepala aku sendiri how hard and how strong my mom is how dedicated she is to my family karena ah my mom is such a wonder woman di saat itulah kartunya tuh kayak berbalik gitu loh kayak aku bilang tadi waktu aku SD mama aku menjadi salah satu alasan kenapa aku punya susah lotas itu ya kan waktu SMP itulah berputar balik 180 derajat mama aku malah menjadi salah satu alasan kenapa aku harus hidup jadi setiap aku merasa down setiap aku merasa sedih setiap aku merasa aku nggak berguna setiap aku merasa nobody wants me I always think about my mom I always think that I have a reason to live to make my mom happy. That was the time I become independent and and just trying so hard not to cause a problem to my mom. And I shut myself from my family in a way because I'm not really close with my sisters and brother from that point. Dan di waktu aku SMP juga, aku yang benar-benar baru ketemu namanya teman baik, teman sahabat yang benar-benar bisa aku cerita apa aja, mereka bisa cerita apa aja ke aku. We just listen to each other and they really make me happy. Dan aku masih inget banget sama mereka, though I don't really talk to them that much at this point of our lives. But I'm really grateful that I know them. Aninta, Hadiana, Fitri, Gary, Yuni, Jogi, Andreas, Andre Simbolan. Pokoknya kalian teman-teman yang ada di SMP Metodis 5, you really made my days so much better. You made me forget my problems that I have at home. I hope that we can meet again in the future after this pandemic, of course. And that societal thoughts come back again when I was in university. I was really stressful from all the assignments. I was really homesick. I miss everyone. In Medan, I miss my best friends because they were in Medan. And I just couldn't reach them. And I'm so thankful with, with my best friend that I make from university. Ada Rahmat, Sabudi, Yordi, Hani, Kibi, dan yang lainnya. Anak-anak D13, I really love you and really miss you because you guys help me down too in a way because you dumb ass bitches just make me laugh. Di SMA juga aku ngerasa teman-teman aku dari choir Clara Bell. You just make such a good memories. So yeah, I think if you have that suicidal thoughts, if you have, if you fall into that dark, deep thoughts of yours, just try to remember the good memories that you have with your friends, with your family, with your loved ones, because it really helps you to escape that. Hold on to that good memories of you and, and don't lose hopes don't ever think that no one loves you because you are not worth it 
you are you are worth it you are loved by someone else by your family by your friends so just stop thinking that you are alone because you are not trust me you are not alone i know it's really hard to think about it when you you already in that hole but just just remember you are loved one thing that I, I always do when I fall into that dark deep thoughts, I, I cried. I, cr I, I cried myself in my room alone. I turned off the lights and I just play my, my crying sad playlist and I just, you know, just cry in my sleep. And then the next day, if I still feel sad, I I go to my my friend's room. My friends kontra, kontrakan teman aku. Kalau biasanya tuh kalau aku pas kuliah, kalau aku udah udah sedih banget, uh, aku gangguin si Rahmat. Si Rahmat lagi baru bangun tidur biasanya karena dia bangun siang selalu. Aku selalu gangguin dia karena ada aja kelakuan Rahmat yang yang bikin aku ketawa, yang bikin aku aku lupa terhadap kesedihan yang sedang aku rasakan itu. Yeah, I'm just so glad I met him. And then if you don't have if you are far away from your friend or your best friend or your family and you don't feel you have anyone to talk to, I suggest you to have a mantra because I do have a mantra when I feel really down. The first thing is all is well, all is well, all is well. I repeat that so many times and then I always Tell myself, Jonathan, you can do this, you can get through this, just hold on to it, just take a deep breath, you'll get through this, don't lose hope. Just hang on, hang on, it's going to be over, it's going to be over. Hang on. Selama aku kerja, kalau aku lagi stress uh, dari kerjaan kantor, aku biasanya pulang kantor tuh, itu ke gereja katedral dan ke gua Bunda Maria dan berdoa, nyalain lilin, duduk, berdoa ceritain aku masalahnya lagi apa ke Tuhan ke Bunda Maria terus dia yeah, just tell my stories to God and just pray terus habis itu doa salam salam Maria tiga kali terus yang udah selesai duduk just take a deep breath just 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 wait and just sit and wait until I feel better and then go home it helps me if that still doesn't help you i just suggest you to reach out reach out to the professional to the therapist to the psychologist just don't 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 end yourself because of this problem you have in your brain just tell it to someone share it with someone because it it, it will make you feel better just reach out I will put all the information where you can get help in the description box below. Now if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not point and finger saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. So yeah, I guess that's it that I can share about my Suicidal thoughts about my story and if you like share your your comment share your stories on the comment section I hope we can help each other And I hope that my story can can help you in a way and if you like this video Please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and follow me on my social media on Instagram it's all at GNPHNPS. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching this video because it, it really means a lot. I hope again I can share my stories and help someone. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.